Hello, Odooers, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Odoo to schedule preventative maintenance, which is used to avoid high cost and time losses. We can also perform corrective maintenance to fix things that are already broken. Here at Stealthy Wood, preventative maintenance helps keep our manufacturing equipment in tip top shape. If not correctly managed, machinery can break down or malfunction, causing unscheduled downtimes, production stops, and significant emergency repair costs. Nobody wants to deal with wasting money on major breakdowns, so that's why we encourage regular maintenance on your equipment. I think most facility managers would agree with me when I say maintenance matters. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Let's go ahead and start in the maintenance application where I have an overview of my maintenance team. I'm gonna go to the equipment menu here at the top where I have access to my work centers. Quick reminder, Work Center is a place where workers use machines and tools for manufacturing. First, let's take a look at these machines and tools by clicking on Machines and Tools. Over here, we can see all the equipment listed on the menu. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first Samsung monitor. On the equipment form, I'm gonna click on the equipment category. I can select the category this piece belongs to. Additionally, I can also select who this monitor is used by. We can also change who's in charge of the maintenance, and it looks like our trusty internal maintenance team is already set. I can also see the equipment's assigned work center and location. We can also add a description at the bottom here. When I click on the product information tab, we can see more specific information like the serial number and warranty expiration date. Now, let's check out our maintenance tab. Here, we can arrange how often we want to have preventative maintenance, as well as how long it takes. I'm gonna go ahead and set the preventative maintenance frequency to one day. And I'm gonna set the maintenance duration to half an hour. We can also set up an expected mean time between failure or MTBF for our acronym lovers. Below that, Odoo automatically calculates the MTBF value based on previous maintenance requests as well as the estimated next failure and mean time to repair based on this equipment's performance data. With the expected MTBF all set, we can tell Odoo how often we need to perform maintenance. With the real MTBF, Odoo tells us how often the maintenance fails and needs repairs. For a monitor, let's say the expected MTBF value is 120 days. And once we have an actual equipment failure, the latest failure field will display the date of that failure. The field above that will tell us when the estimated next failure date is, which is based on historical data. This helps us prepare accordingly and switch up our maintenance schedule to repair the equipment before that happens. Lastly, the mean time to repair field or MTTR measures how long it takes us to complete a maintenance request for this equipment when a failure occurs. Again, that'll automatically adjust based on real data as it becomes available in Odoo. I know that was a lot, Odooers, but to wrap this all up, Odoo will automatically generate a maintenance request if we've defined a preventative maintenance frequency. These requests are only generated once daily, so don't be alarmed if the request isn't generated right away. Alrighty, let's view our work centers by navigating to Equipment and Work Centers. I'll check out assembly line one. Under the equipment tab, we can see all of the equipment used at this work center and the, their computed mean times between failure and mean times to repair. I can also add equipment here if I want to at the add line section. If I click on this X on the right, I can remove pieces. For example, if they're outdated or being replaced. Now that we've reviewed where to find machines, equipment, and work centers, Let's create a maintenance request. Let's go ahead and head to our dashboard. Here I have three pre-configured maintenance teams. Let's go ahead and create a maintenance request for my internal maintenance team by clicking on the zero to do button. Like other teams in Odoo, each maintenance team has its own unique pipeline. Let's click new to create a maintenance request manually. And I'll say one of our printers is jammed. Then let's select the cor corresponding piece of equipment. 
let's say the HB inkjet printer. Alrighty, since this is an active issue that needs to be fixed, I'll ensure that the corrective maintenance type is selected. I can also tie a specific manufacturing order to this maintenance request. I can also schedule a date for the fix. When I click on schedule date, it will show a calendar and I'm gonna select today's date and click apply. Alrighty, for the duration, let's set it to one hour. And this is a super, super, super important request. So let's mark it as three stars in the priority. And if we have any additional information, we can type it right here in the description field. And boom, we've just created a maintenance request. When I click on the maintenance request breadcrumb, the request is shown at the dashboard. During manufacturing, equipment hiccups may occur. And sometimes it may be more convenient to create a maintenance request directly from a work order. Now let's walk through creating a maintenance request for a bistro table while in the middle of a manufacturing order. I'm going to head to our manufacturing app, and then I'm going to go to the operations menu and manufacturing orders. And I'm gonna click on our MO for our bistro table. Now I wanna start a work order for this bistro table, so I'll click on the work orders tab. And then I'm gonna click on this blue external link arrow on the right that says open work order. This will open a pop-up window with a smart button that says open shop floor. Let's go ahead and click on that. Alrighty, now that we're here in our shop floor app, we can see our MO for the bistro table right here. To start production, we'll just click on the title of the MO. At the top here, we can see that we're executing this MO at assembly line one. In the MO itself, we can see the work order steps. So we've got four steps for this particular work order, table supports, table legs, register production, and print labels. Let's hop in and start the first step. Alrighty, so we have a few things here telling us what to do. We have the written instructions and the visual instructions. Pretty cool, right? I'm going to close out of this tab and indicate that I want to go to the next step. So I'll complete this step by clicking on the checkbox in the table support line. Let's check out our next step. Here we have new instructions specific to the table legs. It lets us know how we need to attach the legs to the rest of the table. I've got lightning fast hands, so I'm going to say I finished this step by clicking on the next button. Done. What's nice too is that Odoo moved us to the next step in the work order, which is register production. Now Odooers, we track our popular bistro tables with unique serial numbers. To do that, we need to enter the produce quantity, which is one. And then we can click on the big blue plus button to generate and assign a brand new unique serial number. Boom, we're all set here. So let's go ahead and click validate. And yay, we're on our final step of our work order. But wait a second, our table I think is a little uneven. So we're going to need to shave down one of these legs by using a scrub plane which is conveniently located at our work center. So I'm using the scrub plane, but something's just not right. I'm going to need to request a maintenance for it. So I'm gonna do so by clicking on the three dots icon here at the bottom right of the MO. And I'm gonna click on the request maintenance button. A pop-up for a brand new request appears. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy out. I'm going to call this maintenance request scrub plane blade needs replacement. For the equipment, I'll put the scrub plane. Alrighty, and the maintenance type is going to be set as corrective. And the assigned team is internal maintenance. Looks good. For the scheduled date, I'll put today and click apply. And for the duration, we're going to be setting it to one hour. And obviously we're super high priority. So the priority is going to be three stars. Everything looks good. So let's save this maintenance request. Alrighty, now that the request is in, let's pause production for now by clicking on the title of the MO. 
and the timer stops ticking. The operator filling out this maintenance request will need to keep the work order paused until the equipment is ready to use. So let's go ahead and take care of that now and we can click close at the top right corner over here. Let's go back to my internal maintenance team by going to the maintenance app. On the internal maintenance team, I'll click on the two to do button. Alrighty, and let's go into the scrub plane maintenance request that we just created. Once the responsible maintenance team member addresses the request, they can move it to the repaired stage here at the top right. This will notify the request's followers. Additionally, the repair person can use the chatter to message the operator to resume manufacturing. Let's go ahead and mark this maintenance request as done in the chatter. Yay! Now that our equipment is repaired, production can begin again for the bistro table we were working on. Before we wrap up, I'd like to make a quick note that if I want an overview of all maintenance requests, not just for the internal maintenance team, but for all maintenance teams, I can also view a calendar of all the tasks by heading to the maintenance here at the top of the maintenance calendar. Here I can see the scrub plane maintenance request I just submitted. We can also switch to different views here at the top right. For example, using the Kanban view will allow us to see what stages the maintenance requests from every team are in, not just the internal maintenance team. So we can manage all requests easily using the drag and drop cart. Other helpful views here are the list and graph view. The list view will show all of the maintenance requests in a list along with those requests metadata. The graph view has a visual breakdown between the stages that the requests are in, which can be pretty handy for reporting purposes. So there you have it, O-doers. Now, of course, corrective maintenance should be avoided as much as possible, and you should always try to put preventative actions in place. But sometimes you don't have a choice. Luckily, Odoo helps you process both kinds of maintenance in an efficient and timely manner. Thanks for watching, Odooers, and see you next time.